welcome guys thank you so much for joining in so as we can see the price of bitcoin has failed to break the resistance around this fifty-two thousand price area and now the question here is is this a beginning of a new downtrend from here on because the price of bitcoin is below fifty thousand. one more time i am going to be very very realistic and i'm also going to show you what could happen if we lose the support around this 48 to forty-nine thousand range where we could be possibly hitting and also why this line is an extremely strong line of support that we have to hold at any cost in a weekly time frame because if you look at the price action of bitcoin using this lock scale what i'm actually going to do here i am going to add this fibonacci lines along with this bitcoin logarithmic growth curve because inside this bitcoin logarithmic growth curve you can see here i have added three different fibonacci line this line is the 50 percent which is the middle of the channel this green line what you can see is the 38.20 fibonacci label and this orange line is the 23.61 percent fibonacci label and for us right now the most important thing is to find proper support above this green line which is the 38.20 fibonacci label and this 38.20 fibonacci label is lying around 49,000 price area because in the past bitcoin price action you can see whenever we found a proper support above this 38.20 Fibonacci line, we always had a really nice bounce of it. You can see this scenario unfolded again and again here and past Bitcoin price action. Whenever the price were hitting an uptrend, this 38.20 was the strong line of support. But if we lose the support from this 38.20, then you know you can see the price of Bitcoin in the past Bitcoin price action also tested the lower Fibonacci line, and that is this 23.61%. And this 23.61% is lying around 38% thousand price area so that's why what we want here in a weekly the price of bitcoin to close somehow above this 38.20 fibonacci line that is lying around 49,000 price area and not just only due to this bitcoin logic growth curve we have to hold or find support above this 48 49,000 range but also if you look at this in a bit different way let me hide this fibonacci line and also this bitcoin logic growth curve so if you look at the price structure of bitcoin in a very very simple way guys what i'm actually going to do I am going to add this rising trend line here to the downside and also one trend line here to the upward direction because we can see this could be actually looked as an ascending triangle. Ascending triangle is actually a bullish formation because in an ascending triangle, the price, once we break out of this upper line area and flip it into support, we start this new rally here to the upper direction but failing to find support at the lower line area will also indicate that this here ascending triangle has been invalid and we could be starting this new downtrend because we are away around this 48 49000 not just only the lower line support of this ascending triangle also the fibonacci line around 49000 but also the support from this rising trend line 50 weekly moving average and also this falling trend line which previously acted as a resistance because if you have watched my video from yesterday i showed you why the price of bitcoin must hold this support around this 48 49000 range because around that range you can see this rising trend line support is there right 50 weekly moving average that could be also acting as a strong line of support and this falling trend line because this falling trend line which previously acted as a strong line of resistance will be another strong support for bitcoin because i showed you with the past bitcoin price action when we had this similar scenario unfolding here if i go back and show you this falling trend line support one more time you can see you can see this actually looks like a very nice broadening wedge and once the resistance here got broken right you can see this resistance this resistance got broken and price came back to retest it found support we had this parabolic move here to the upper duration and now if we do the same here in our case guys i want to show you this similar scenario unfolding here as well so that was the reason i added this falling trend line here and also here because if you look at this price structure this could still look pretty similar to falling wedge type of scenario because according to this falling wedge as we can see if the price of bitcoin is also going to do just like here from past bitcoin price action find support at this upper line area which previously acted as a resistance right plenty of time then we could be starting this new rally so in our case this upper line was a strong line of resistance right you can see here and if we do find support around that range then we could still expect this impulsive movement playing out because exactly around that range we have some strong line of support but 
failing to find support around this range will indicate a real sign of danger and also a potential downward price movement because according to this bitcoin logarithm growth curve as you can see if the support around this 49,000, 48,000 is going to get broken will indicate another weakness and also potential downward price movement that could bring us around this 23.61 Fibonacci level and that's lying around 38,000 price area because in the past bit compressor action you can see failing to find around this 38.20 Fibonacci level brought us towards this 23.61 Fibonacci line not just only once many many times as you can see here failed to find support above that range we came and tested the 23.61 Fibonacci level in a downtrend this happens often so that's why you guys we don't want this downtrend to continue and price to hold the support around this 48 49 000 range and not just only in a weekly time frame guys i want to show you the reason why we are getting this rejection around this 50 to 51 000 range because yesterday i made it very very clear if the price of bitcoin wants to show an actual movement here in this manner then we have to break this resistance and flip it into support because we can see in the past bit compressor action for an impulsive movement to play out we always found a proper support around this low line area of this falling wedge and in our case you can see the price failed to find support at this lower line area of this falling wedge and the same line which previously acted as a support acted as a resistance and didn't let the price to break out of it not just only this falling wedge right i also showed you this accumulation cylinder and according to the accumulation cylinder the lower line the 0 0.3 0 0.5 right was a strong line of support but in our case since we failed to find support above this line this same line around this 51 52 000 will be acting as a resistance along with this lower line area of this falling wedge and you can see exactly after reaching that line we got a rejection here as well exactly after reaching this line we got a rejection and also this one here the head and shoulder neckline area because yesterday i also included this which pointed out the lower line here which was a strong line of support could be actually acting as a resistance so that's why you can see exactly after reaching that line we got a rejection and witnessing this price pullback type of scenario so that's why what we don't want at any cost is to lose the support from this 49 48 000 because losing the support could actually trigger another sell-off and in that case the price of bitcoin could be actually approaching towards this 38 000 price range which is the 23.61 fibonacci level and i'm being very very honest with you Channel. here so these are some of the scenarios i thought sharing with you in today's episode if you enjoyed my work then please guys hit the like button and also for those individuals watching this for the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell so by saying this i'm signing out my name is anup bye bye guys